Hey everybody, I started to pour the white for this um, and then realized I hadn't turned you on. And you're at an odd angle, or I'm at an odd angle, because I have a painting drawing in the washing machine tray on my right and one and some drawing on my left. And um, so that leaves me smack in the middle. And so basically I ran out of room. And I can't move you in front of me because the table I made yesterday is in front of me drying. So um, basically I have too much crap. <laughs> too many, too many things going on. Um, so I'll catch you up on what I started talking to myself because I didn't realize I had turned you off or not even turned you on. Um, boy, all, half the things I say down here, taken out of context, sure makes it sound like I am doing a very different kind of video than I'm actually doing. Okay. So, yeah. This is my Dutch Boy paint, Floetrol and water. There is a video where um, you see me mixing this, Floetrol and water. It is not, people have been asking what is in that jug. Floetrol, water, and paint. That's it. Nothing else. Um, no silicone, no pouring medium, just that's it. Um, and that I just mixed up a little bit ago and shook it, so I'm gonna torch out bubbles. There's a lot of bubbles. And when those bubbles dry in there, you'll get, um, it looks like pinpricks all over. And I have some paintings that I love, paintings that I've sold, paintings that I display in my home, that do have the pinpricks. So, if you are getting those, it does not mean your painting is a, is a disaster. It means that your painting is a one-of-a-kind piece of art. It was not created in a factory, you know, and, you know, mass-produced at Garden Ridge. So it just shows that it is a one-of-a-kind creation. Um, so if you're getting those, don't freak out. You know, you're not doing anything wrong, even when I torch even when I'm doing exactly what I believe to be correct, <laughs> um, I'll still get them. So, you know, it's, it's fine. It's, it's totally fine. It's all good. Don't stress about your art. I am doing, I am so out of my comfort zone with colors. Um, I mixed up, this is, I can't even read, I'm going blind. Craft Smart Espresso, um, this is metallic, but why am I not, oh, premium metallic. Beautiful color, really pretty. So that's what it looks like. I think these are 99 cents at Michael's. Um, and it mixes up, this is two ounces. So here, here's how I mix my paint. This is a good example. Two ounces of paint yields five and a half ounce. Well, it's a little under. So maybe two ounces of paint yields 5.2 ounces. So, so Floetrol and water. Yeah, so that doesn't seem right. That would mean, well, 30, 30, 64, yeah. So that's about for that. Um, that sure doesn't seem right, but that is right, I suppose. Um, and then this is the same brand Craft Smart uh, Pewter. I love this pewter. It's like blue gray it's so pretty and then this is 
mix. I had black paint, then I added white paint, then I've added other shades of gray. So this is um, 50 shades of gray. And um, I kind of want to add something for a pop. But, oh, let's see. I was only going to do... Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to do those three. Because something new. Something I haven't tried. So, those paints are, as I said, water, Floetrol, and then um, a drop of spot-on treadmill silicone, which is giving me very interesting results. So, I am going to mix up, this is a 10 by 20 canvas, and I'm probably going, this is, I think, a three or three and a half ounce cup. And I'm going to fill it about one and a half ounces. So that's what it's looking like. I'm surprised it is not selling more inside the cup. Because every other time I've used this treadmill silicone, it has gone insane. So I'm hoping that I get that it looks pretty cool on this. Okay. So normally, I'm going to move these out of the way. Um, normally when I do a flip and drag, I do the flip cut first, and then I pour the white paint around it, but, um, I have done it this way as well, and they work about the same, because sometimes at the last minute you poured, you were going to do a hammer or something, and you decide, no, it is flip and drag time. And then, you know, you're allowed to change your mind at the last minute. So, you just do it quick. And, my stinking trusty nail, I had, it was sitting on top. Oh, I found it. Alright, somebody told me, that'll probably burn my hand up. said, heat it. Alright, that looks pretty hot. Obviously not. Watch me catch on fire. Oh my god, something weird happened. Okay, why is it not going off? There we go. Paint just came up through the top. That's crazy. Okay, so heating a nail up doesn't do anything. Like it's just as easy to just poke that nail right through. Alright. So I've got it out. I'll zoom you in. Does that look like a bird? I know you're crooked. I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't interrupt your viewing pleasure. So I was talking on my last, on one of my last videos that people have trouble hearing me and I do mumble. So I acknowledge that I mumble, but you know, these cameras, the microphones aren't that great because you can buy external mics. So I'm thinking about getting an external mic that I just clip to me. And that way you don't hear my family clomping around upstairs or my air conditioner or my heater or my dog barking or whatever. Um, you won't hear all that as much. And then I was thinking, what do you think of the video quality itself? I mean... Because then I was looking at, because I use a camera, but then I was looking at going back to like an old school camcorder. I don't know why that intrigues me. But I probably shouldn't because I'll just gunk it up with paint again, like this one. 
this one I remember I wasn't sure about, you know, if I liked it or, you know, and I had a 30-day return policy. But by then I had covered the entire thing in white paint. So I'm pretty sure that voided the return policy. <laughs> but this camera I got a great deal on. Um, I still kind of think in some situations my phone takes a better picture. So far I am not loving this at all. Um, I'm going to get a straw. This area is just too blobby. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now it reminds me of those Chinese dragons, but it got um it got rid of those smooth edges. And it broke the paint through the white. So it should um tilt easier now. Once you break up those edges. It usually moves a lot freer. And now I'm going to do what I always say I, I like doing. I'm trying to get that down to the bottom so that it catches over the edge. And then I can pull it all back the other way. And it will stay because it will have gone over the edge. Wish I'd used more of the, what was it, espresso. I should be able to remember that. I keep wanting to call it gold. almost there. I'm not used to seeing such neutral colors. I am loving what's going on here. Now you can see I'm trying to push it this up as well. It's getting there. Tilt it a little bit harder. It's almost there. There we go. some more cell action by just kind of touching it. Get some white up here to break up this. Bring it back the 
towards you. And all I'm doing now is just lengthening it. It should maintain the shape it's in for the most part because I'm going back and forth equal distance. At least that's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Because then it keeps it in the same shape for the most part. It just moves it down. And I'm hanging out on this side a little longer. Now that side. Getting caught up right here. But I think I may leave it. This one is weird looking. I lied. I'm going to move it a little bit more. It's pretty thick, but it'll be fine. Um, I've had others like this, this thick. So, I'm going to just torch it. Not a whole lot, but... I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty. There's another eye. It's like an eye and teeth. That looks like an upside down cat with glasses and a mustache. Because all cats should have glasses and mustaches. So, there's that. Um, like it, comment, subscribe, and thanks, and come back and watch me again. Bye.